Hello everyone, my name is Ming. Today in this video I want to give you an update on the software that I use to process my raw files. I have been a Lightroom user for many years. Recently I have been trying out Capture One Pro uh, because ever since I picked up Fuji X-T2 many people suggested using Capture One Pro because Lightroom has some problems with uh, Fuji RAW files especially when you are sharpening Fuji RAW files in Lightroom. If you are not careful, uh, it's easy to get some wormy artifacts in Lightroom. I have another video talking about how I bring Fuji RAW files from Lightroom to Photoshop and sharpening in Photoshop to avoid the, uh, the wormy artifacts. Today I'm going to talk about Capture One Pro and my experience. In the last six months or so, I have been trying out Capture One Pro and I do like it. I do like it. I think it's a cool software. I think it's a cool photo editing software uh, for a couple of reasons. The first reason, I do think Capture One Pro does a better job at rendering details, especially for Fuji RAW files compared to Lightroom. Right off the bat, I think Capture One Pro can give you uh, better quality details and a sharpness. I'm not saying you can't get the same sharpness uh, with Lightroom. I think you can, but it requires further editing. It requires extra uh, processing, editing steps to get that sharpness. So right off the bat, I think Capture One Pro does a better job at re rendering details. And the other thing I like about Capture One Pro is I think it gives me more control over my image. It does have a flexible uh, curve adjustment tool and a level adjustment tool. And also it allows me to add contrast without adding saturation. So I think that's really cool. That gives me the flexibility that I want. Uh, I will sh talk about that. I will show you in a minute. And the third thing I like about Capture One Pro is the color editing tool. I think Capture One Pro has a much more advanced photo uh, color editing tool compared to Lightroom because in Lightroom it only gives you a certain amount of uh, the color channels that you can work with. But with Lightroom, uh, sorry, but in Capture One Pro you can pinpoint a color from your image and work on that color. Uh, let me give you some examples and give you an idea of what I'm talking about. All right, let me show you what I mean by adding contrast without adding saturation. Let me first reset this photo. Right now I'm in Lightroom and this is the photo I recently took. Uh, let me first quickly adjust the black point and the white point and bring down some highlights. And at this point, I want to add some contrast into this photo. So I uh, use this contrast slider in Lightroom. So if I add contrast for demonstrating purpose, I'm going to go a little bit crazy. So as you can see, as I adding the contrast, if you see the color of the sky, it also adds saturation into the color of the sky. So this is without the contrast I added, and that's the contrast I added. You can see the blue becomes more saturated. So in order to correct that later, I have to bring down saturation. Uh, maybe not this slider, um, maybe go to the, this color control and go to saturation and bring down the blue saturation a little bit to make it look natural. All right, so that means whenever I add contrast in Lightroom, I'm also adding saturation and Let's take a look at uh, Capture One Pro. Uh, in Capture One Pro, it, it also has a contrast slider, but I don't really use it. Uh, what I like is this curve tool. Uh, it has five tabs, RGB, Luma, red, green, and blue. Uh, if you are in RGB tab, and if you bring up sh highlight and pull down shadows, as you can see, it's adding contrast, and at the same time, it's also adding saturation into this photo. But what I can do is I can choose Luma tab. So basically Luma tab, whatever you change, is gonna affect uh, contrast and it's, it's gonna affect uh, luminosity without affecting uh, saturation. Uh, so if I pull up highlights and I pull down shadows, as you can see, this is before and this is after. So I added a contrast into this photo without adding any saturation. So that way, 
if I think I do need add a little bit more saturation, I can always come back to this exposure tool and use this saturation slider, slides towards the right hand side, and I can add just the amount of saturation that I think it's right for this photo. So that way I can control saturation and um, contrast separately. I think that's more flexible and that's a cool feature that I like to use. Another tool that I want to talk about is this Clarity tool in Capture One Pro. So it has Clarity and a structure to sliders. Unlike the Clarity slider in Lightroom, um, which I don't think works very good, I think the Clarity slider in Lightroom doesn't make the photo look natural. But I do like using this structure slider in this Clarity tool in Capture One Pro. So basically, I think this slider can bring out a little bit more details from the photo and it can add sharpness into your photo. So usually I go uh, below 25, but for the demonstrating purpose, I'm gonna go to, let's do 40. And let me reset this effect. So this is before without the structure slider and this is adding structure to 40. So as you can see, the photo becomes sharper and it just brings out more details. This is before and this is after. Now let's take a look at the color editing tool in Capture One Pro. So basically that's the interface and you have this icon here, click on that and then you can just pick any color in your photo. So for example, I think the sky is a little bit bright. I want to bring down the sky. So I just pick the blue color from the photo and then you can see that's the range of color that you are going to change. And we want to bring down lightness. So we can bring down, just bring down the brightness of the sky and maybe add a little bit more saturation. So it's affecting the sky and also, uh, also affecting the reflection of the lake. So I think that's pretty cool. And now we can just still use this picker and pick a color on the mountain. So you can see that's a warmer tone here. And I want to um, maybe make it a little bit bright, add a little bit more saturation, and then change the color, maybe add a little bit more red into this color since the photo was shot in sunrise. All right, so I think it's pretty easy to do. You just pick a color and then work with it. So I can make another selection. I can pick this green. Um, I can make it a little bit darker and less saturated. All right, so I think it's fairly easy to do. And you can make local adjustment with this uh, color editor tool. So I can add a new layer and then I still have this color editor tool. So let me first draw a gradient mask from top to bottom. So it's going to affect the sky but not affect the, the bottom of the photo. Then I can use this basically the same tool, use the color picker and select, uh, let's say the blue of the sky and then we can bring up the blue, we can add brightness. So as you can see, it's only changing the sky without affecting the bottom, without affecting the lake. Add a little bit more contrast, or you can bring down the brightness if you want. I think that's too much. Maybe just that, just a little bit brighter than the reflection in the lake. All right, so it's pretty cool, you can use this in your local adjustments. Now let's take a look at Lightroom. I think the color editing tool in Lightroom is limited compared to Capture One Pro. So first of all, let me draw a, so I al already drew this uh, gradient local mask. And in this tool, I don't have control over the colors. So say if I want to add, com add a saturation of blue, so it's adding saturation to both the sky and the lake. But basically, I just want to add saturation into the sky 
with this uh, gradient mask. So unfortunately, the local uh, adjustments doesn't provide this color editing tool. Now let's look at this globally. So I can use this uh, color picker, select the sky, and then I can drag to decrease the saturation or increase the saturation. And I can use this uh, color picker again to pick this color and then drag to add a saturation. Then I have to go to luminance and do this again to make this color brighter. Ooh, what's going on? My mouse is not listening. All right. But compared to Capture One Pro, where I can add as many color points as I want, I just basically use this color picker tool, and then I can add as many color points as I want, or I can remove the ones that I added. So I think that that is more flexible. Compared to Lightroom, I have to work with certain color channels. So I think it's not intuitive and it's limited. I can definitely see in the future I will use Capture One Pro more often. I think it's a fantastic photo editing tool. But of course, I am still learning Capture One Pro myself, so in the future, I may share uh, tips or tricks that I learned. So please join me so we can learn together. All right, this is today's video for you. I hope you like this video. Uh, if you like it, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you are not subscribed already. All right, I hope to see you in the next video.